welcome back to the homestead. I really had a lot of fun with everyone yesterday when I gave you our garden tour. And if you guys didn't see that video, go back and check it out. But I know a lot of you guys have been at home a lot, cooking a lot more from scratch, I hope. And um, I have a very simple, easy, healthy, nutritious recipe that you guys can do that would feed an army. Now all you're gonna need is some organic oats. Now organic oats are for me a must and hopefully for you guys too because oatmeal or oats are not all created equal. There is this group, it's called the EWG, the Environmental Working Group, and it's a watchdog organization that educates consumers about the foods that they're eating. And they're known, and you guys might have known about them, they developed the list called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, and it talks about every year they go over it, because it does change the pesticide residues on our foods and which ones are safer to eat. Like the Dirty Dozen, the top two generally are always strawberries and spinach and lately it's been kale because people are eating so much more kale. So those are the fruits and vegetables that you want to buy organic because they have such a higher pesticide residue on them. Now the other one that I'm always getting, making sure I get organic, is your oats. Because oats are sprayed with glyphosate, which is an herbicide, and it has been linked to cancer. So organic oats is a must for me. I did a video a little while ago about these chocolate peanut butter bars, talking about um, peanut butter. So your nut butters are also one that you want to look at because they are sprayed also. So organic nut butters are a must there too. But what you're going to need in this recipe, it's very simple and easy, is oats, organic oats, raw honey or maple syrup, unrefined salt, some baking powder, some fruit of your choice. I'm using frozen blackberries from our last year's garden. And you're going to need some type of milk. It can be almond milk, it can be oat milk, it can be cow milk, whatever milk you got. Some chopped up pecans, two large eggs or three medium eggs, and then you're gonna need some butter, you're gonna need some vanilla, and some cinnamon. You will be needing a nine inch square baking dish. And I'm gonna be using a cast iron pan today because my nine inch dish is being used. And then heat your oven to 375 degrees. I have my cast iron in the oven right now because the trick to being successful when you are baking in cast iron is to have a nice hot pan with some butter or oil in it. So right now I'm gonna get it out. I probably put about a tablespoon of butter in it and then we're gonna put the ingredients in it. So now I have a hot pan. So whenever I make my oatmeal dishes, I always soak my oats. Now you wanna soak them in you know, your water and something that you call an acid medium, which could be anywhere from apple cider vinegar, it could be adding kombucha, it could be adding water kefir, it could be adding milk or buttermilk, something like that because it'll help break it down so it's easier for you to digest. So what I did just a few hours ago is I put my two cups of oats in a bowl and then I just put enough water to cover it and then I put a couple tablespoons of yogurt in there and it's been sitting covered. Now for some of you guys, you know, you're busy so you could do this the night before and then in the morning you're just ready to go. You'll throw your ingredients in there and then go ahead and make it. So soaking it, let's say if you have problems, maybe you get bloated when you're eating oats, it could be you just need to process it and um, put the soaking solution in there. So all I did is I put it in here and mix it all up two large eggs and if you don't have large eggs and you can use three medium a cup of your milk half a cup of chopped nuts these are pecans you can use walnuts almonds whatever you prefer third cup of raw honey or maple syrup two tablespoons of butter or oil Half a teaspoon of unrefined salt. I use the Redmond Real Salt. And here at our homestead, we use lots of salt for everything we do. I do so much fermenting, so I go through a lot of salt. So we have an affiliate link because you are able to get salt in bulk. I love to buy it, the coarse salt, the kosher salt, the fine salt, so I get it in bulk. So we have a link for you guys below. But from there, we're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, 
I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my berries, you, you know, if you have a pint, if you want more berries in it, you guys can put more. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the cool thing about cooking. It doesn't have to be exactly like the recipe. It usually turns out. So I'm gonna do about half berries into my mixture. And then I'll put the remaining berries in my cast iron pan or your nine inch baking dish. Mix it up really good. See, and the good thing about these is I like to do these oatmeal bakes because then you can save them and they're great. A few days later, you can heat up in the oven. And I eat them a lot of times, even cold. And they're really good. Or like the next day, like for Doug and I, so tomorrow I'll just make some eggs. I don't have to worry about anything else and then we can have one of these. I'm gonna pour it in my pan, like so. And put it in my preheated oven at 375 for about 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna check it and then we'll see how it looks. And if it needs to go longer, it'll go longer. back in 45 minutes. Everyone asks every time we do a video here and I use the oven what kind of oven it is. It is a Camp Chef oven. No we don't have any links for the oven so Google is your friend on that but I got a lot of chores to do so I'll leave you with some cute kittens playing. something we need it's a leap of faith step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run standing on your knees it's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and the moment to spend It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Well, just like that, poof, I'm in our like heaven because the storm is brewing, we have thunder and lightning, it's very unsettled. I, you probably couldn't hear us outside, so thought I'd bring it in here. How about you guys, wherever you are in the world, has the weather been totally unsettled with lots of storms and rain and very humid, and how's it been? Leave a comment below. But I've been letting it set, it's been about 15 minutes, because generally when you take it out, you want it to sit a little bit, you don't want it to get really hot. So it's been about 15. And so now it looks amazing. We're gonna get ready and eat it. And the trick to making these apple bakes, Depending, because you know ovens are all different, you want it to be and kind of have a nice crust on the top and be a nice golden, golden brown. That way it makes it good because it's going to be a little softer in the center, especially on this one. I have the berries at the bottom, so it'll be like an oatmeal cobbler. So uh, just make sure it's like that because sometimes some ovens you need to go less or more. So I want an hour with this and I can't wait to cut it open and look at it. Oh, the smell is heavenly. So I'm gonna cut it like a pizza or a pie. Mmm, <laughs> look at it. So this can be eaten by itself or you can add a little butter on top of it. If you have some blackstrap molasses, that would be good. 
little maple syrup. Put a little maple syrup on it. Look at that. It's a work of art. How many people like butter on their bread? I do, it's so good. So I like butter on anything. Butter makes everything better. Mmm. Oh, the blackberries are amazing. They totally make it pop. So if you have blackberries, try with blackberries. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Well, you know what I like about this recipe? It's plain and simple. Cooking from scratch with good, wholesome ingredients that you can pronounce. Just like my t-shirt. I like it plain and simple. We have a couple new designs on our t-shirt, so you might want to check those out. And why don't you leave a comment below if you like cooking with cast iron. Let me know. I would love to hear from you or any great variations to recipes like this. Other than that, guys, have a great day, and I will see you later. I'm going to finish up my, my little oatmeal cobbler. <laughs>